Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Smart Docking Aid mod, which is being made by user Valazokt. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a simple little plugin that adds two new SAS modes to help you align your ship to your docking target. And I love this is I've probably done thousands of docking procedures in this game and my biggest problem is always I'm coming in at some weird angle to things it never fails every time and this mod will take away the worry of rotation so you can just focus on the translation of your vessel which I very much do like so let's uh, jump into the tracking station head into orbit to show how this does work and then we're gonna come back down to the space center to talk about a balancing mechanic just in case you're thinking right now at this moment well that seems like it takes away some of the difficulty there's a solution to that which we'll get to but first let us go ahead and undock these two and for some reason, I don't know why I feel like switching over to the other one. And let's just go into our docking mode and back off a little bit here. Now, you can see we have our usual SAS options, but you may notice that there's two more at the bottom, which currently are not showing because, of course, we need a target. Now that we have targeted that docking port we have the option of parallel negative or parallel positive. Now, the uh, negative seems to point you towards it, and the positive will actually flip you around, so you're showing your butt to the target. But, you know, just whichever way you want to go. And, of course, also wherever your docking port may be. Who knows? Maybe you got your docking port on your rear end. And now... We're facing the target, and we just have to worry about translation towards it, and it'll keep us pointing directly at our docking target there. And I love that because, yeah, again, I'm always coming in at weird, wonky angles with this thing, and this will always keep you facing in the correct direction. So now you've just got to worry about moving into the target, and if we just sort of uh, turn that off, off real quick just do stability assist I actually just turn off the SAS entirely and just sort of rotate ourselves around turn the SAS back on and hit the parallel negative and there we go we're already aligned for that docking target and yeah I just I love that oh god I'm in, not in translation but I'm still in uh, the uh, rotation mode see this is my problem with docking I switch between the wrong ones all the time and end up just all over the place but yeah I really like this it's a simple little thing that either puts you away or towards and that's it that's it simple easy to explain then you just gotta move yourself forward back side to side and dock now as for the balancing mechanic I'm not actually gonna worry about docking because well I've been flipping around so much to demonstrate what it does it'll take too long but let's head back to the Space Center and yeah, so some of you, again, might be thinking to yourself, well, that's taking some of the difficulty out of docking. Well, the mods got you covered. Assuming, of course, you're playing in career mode. In Sandbox, you're going to have it from the get-go. But if we jump into the vehicle assembly building, if we were in the career mode of the game, you don't get the docking aid right away. As you have two ways of, of course, controlling your vessels, either by a crude vessel here or a probe core. And for probe cores, it's gonna take you until you can get the higher tier probe cores, like the HECS2, to get yourself the docking aid. You can see right there it telling you you got the parallel plus and minus for the SAS mode. Whereas in the earlier game, HECS, just the regular one, that docking aid is nowhere to be seen. And that is the case for most of the probe cores. You're not going to get it until you get to the good stuff, specifically the HECS2, the RC001S, and also the RCL01. Those three do have the docking aids, and tech-wise, it's going to take you a bit to get to those. Now, as for your Kerbals piloting things, well, we just pop that on and go to the crew category just to have something to show. 
your pilots will not be able to use the docking aid themselves until they're at least three star. So level three pilots are the only ones that can do it outside of those high tier probe cores. So any of your beginner pilots, they're gonna have to get better and level up before they can. So that does give you a balancing mechanic. You're either relying off of higher technology or better trained crews to take advantage of this new thing. And I quite like that. I appreciate that there is a little bit of a weight if you are doing career. But again, we're in we're in sandbox here, so everything's level five pilots and we got all the tech we could want. So yeah, in this case, you got it from the get-go. But I do like that there is that balancing mechanic there for those who do play in career. But yeah, that's really all there is to talk about this thing. It's just a simple little plugin that gives you a very nice little easy tool that you can get later, well, more like mid-game, in career mode. And that is wonderful. So if you'd like to take a look at this for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for this one today. A simple video, but a nice one. So I hope you do come back for the next win. We'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.